Hey first graders, so today we are going to um, be reading a poem and it is actually going to be found in your third packet that I just delivered to you last week um, and it's called Trees the Seeds. So it's just one sheet of paper and um, it has 15 lines and down at the bottom it says Myra Livingston. So um, you are going to get out that sheet of poem and we are going to use that to help us today for task number eight. Um, so task number eight, we're kind of doing that right now during the read. Um, because task number eight is asking that you have your own copy of this poem and you number each line one through fifteen. So you see here I already have one, two, three, four, five, and then I drew a line because um, I drew the line all the way across because we are going to do something with that, each each five lines. So then six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then that's the author. So we just leave that at the bottom. So go ahead and number those one through fifteen and then draw a line all the way across your page between five and six and draw a line all the way across between 10 and 11. So that's the first part of your task. Number each line one through 15. So we're not in class so I can't chart the poem for all of you to see. The only thing I can do is provide you with this copy so that you can see it while I'm reading it. The poem will be read completely all the way through and then we are going to do a task with each portion of those five lines. So today is day eight so we are adding three vocabulary words. Downy, aloft, and rootlets. So we're adding those to our vocabulary today and um, so we are going to read this poem through once. If you need to pause this video and then read it through a couple more times that is fine but I'm going to move right into the task after we read through it once. So trees the seeds. We are given light wings, parachutes, downy legs, that we may be carried aloft by wind and drop where some kind mouse will bury us in earth. Some squirrel will forget we are food, leave us to sprout green shoots, to weave rootlets that we may eat and drink and grow in time our own small seed. Myra Livingston. So the rest of your task then says that for lines one through five that I am going to show you an illustration and you can copy that illustration or if you want to make one of your own that is fine um, and a definition of how to explain um, or describe those five lines. What is happening in those five lines um, in comparison to what we've learned about seeds and their life cycle. So I'm going to reread only one through five um, and then we are going to illustrate what we think these five lines are showing or telling us and then write a sentence describing the meaning of those words. Okay, so um, all right, so we are given light wings, parachutes, downy legs that we may be carried aloft by wind. So to me, these five lines are saying that this is when the seeds are traveling. So by wind or water or animal, when they are being moved around before they've actually been planted somewhere. So um, my illustration, so I separated this part of my page into an area for an illustration. 
and then my sentence or my words. So I just need one sentence. So I don't need a whole lot of room, um, but I want to illustrate what I think is happening and then put that into words. So these five lines, like I said, are that seed still moving. So I just drew, this is kind of like the wind carrying those seeds and moving it to different places. Okay, so that's my illustration. And then my sentence to explain that and what I think is happening, I said the wind helps the seeds travel through the air by the wind. So I kind of repeated myself so I don't have to say the wind twice. Um, I could just say the wind helps the seeds travel through the air. That would make more sense. Um, so now what we're going to do is we are going to read lines 6 through 10 and we're going to do the same thing but instead of me telling you immediately and showing you my illustration and um, my sentence I'm going to let you take some time or pause the video and you talk with someone in your family just one partner one other person um, or if your whole family wants to work together that's fine but on 6 through 10 you're going to decide on an illustration and a sentence to explain these five lines. So we're ignoring the wind part because we've already drawn and illustrated that. So now we're focusing on and drop where some kind of mouse will bury us in earth. Some squirrel will forget we are food, leave us. Okay, then we're stopping. So Go ahead and pause this video, take a minute with someone, a partner in your family, to draw an illustration of what you think this means, and put that in a sentence. Explain your illustration. All right, if that wasn't enough time, here is your warning to go ahead and pause the video again to give yourself some more time. So my illustration, is showing those seeds from up here being dropped. So now they're falling. They are dropping and being left alone. Um, and they're getting buried into the ground. Okay. So my explanation, my sentence says, the seeds fall to the ground and get buried under the soil. So that's what's happening to me in these next five lines. So the last part of your task is that we are going to read the last five lines and now you're going to draw an illustration and a sentence on your own independently, no help. Um, you try to do this independently, illustrate what you think this means and then put that into a sentence of your own. So to sprout green shoots to weave rootlets that we may eat and drink and grow in time our own small seed. So go ahead and take a minute, pause the video, draw, illustrate what you think, what, what part of the plant life cycle do you think is going on now, draw it, illustrate it, and then explain it in a sentence. All right, so here's your warning. If that wasn't enough time, go ahead and pause the video now. And um, we are going to look at what illustration I put and what sentence I wrote as the example. So it starts to sprout green shoots. It weaves rootlets and it eats and drinks and grows in their own and then it will grow its own seed. So I explained that in my sentence, the seeds sprout 
and the roots grow down in the soil to get water and nutrients for it to grow. So this entire poem has three parts to it, three parts of that plant life cycle that we've been learning about. And I want you to illustrate those three parts, write those sentences, and then on your task page, um, they didn't leave a lot of room, but I divided it into those three sections. And I just copied those same pictures and same sentences over to um, that page. So you can leave it on your poem and just stick it in there. You can redraw it, um, whatever you would like to do. But that is all we're going to read and the task that we are going to complete today. Parents, if you have any questions about this task today, please let me know.